Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about route versus route prefix. ASP.NET PA API supports attribute routing. Attribute routing gives you more control over the URLs in your PA API. ASP.NET PA API allows you to provide a common route prefix for all the routes within a controller via route prefix attribute. There are two types of routing. One is the conventional based, and one is that attribute based routing. Let's see an example. Just open the Visual Studio. Create new project. Please enter, select the API, uh, empty and the API, click OK. Now open the solution explorer, open the app start here, you can see that one, there is a route. This one is the conventional based routing. Here you are registered all types of routes and this one for attributes and if you will write this one then you are going to activate that one attribute routing. So how you will use because this one is coming in Wave API 2. Just create one controller network controller Wave API click add and make it a home controller. So here you can see that there is a home controller created same like a MVC but one more thing is it's inheriting that API controller. So first we will create one class like a student class and we will have two method that is a student ID and another will be the student name. So where I will use that one, that uh, route prefix, you can use it here, route prefix and you give it a name like a student. So now if you are going to create any method inside that one, that home controller, that prefix will be, that URL prefix will be that student. Now to create one method, just like a prefix. That list of student return type is list of student and then get that get students and there is a one difference between the way API action method and the way API that method name and uh, MVC, that if it's right that in the Wave API, if you write like a get, that it's automatically, it will be the HTTP get. And if you will write that the post students, that it will be that HTTP post. So create that list of uh, student, list of student. List of student. List of student dot add new student student ID is equal to one and name is equal to ABC. One more we can create two. And x1 chat and I'm going to return that one list of student because prefix is the student so it uh, that URL will be start from that student and it will and that will be get students and if you want to change 
that one then you can use route so this one choose the route and you want you are right that will say students just run it so that your will be student class students that will be this one is a route prefix and this one is the routes See. Now you can see that one. This one is a student. This one. Same like that. If you will create one more method, and here you can write like a like a find a student. So that times like a, it will return. If you, you can make a search statement here, so you will filter out that one and uh, return something like this one. One request if I am going to return. So let's see. So this one also it will be like that student that route prefix student and then find the student and click on. Test will be the student and then find the student. Let's see. So here, if you are not writing that one, that is students, the like a get student. Here is that you mentioned that get. So that one, that one, it's a HTTP get. If it's a prefix, is a get with any method name. So it will be the HTTP get. If you didn't mention that anything, so you have to write that one HTTP bar like a HTTP get. Now check that one student slash to find a student a student slash find students see now you are getting that value first you filter out that one only one value you are getting like a name and student id now if you don't want to use prefix like it is this one because the Old when you are writing like a student, something like that, uh, the student that find the student. You are writing like that. But uh, if you don't want uh, that was that prefix, you don't want to use that prefix. You only want like that find the student. So how you will do? So only you need to do here, you have to use that tilt, like this one. If you write like that, so no need to use that route prefix. So only if in the URL, you will write that one, find a student, you will get that value. Just will change that some name. Just run the application. And right here only find a student slash find a student. See now you are getting that only widget command. So that times you are not writing that route prefix because you are using out now in the route is only tilde. So no need to write that one prefix. If if you want to use that a parameter like a placeholder. If you can you if you want to use that for passing that parameter, you can use that placeholder. Just like if you here, if you pass that student ID. So this 
So what will the placeholder? Just we are going to remove this one. So we will use that prefix that is student. So only you need to write that this one and the placeholder. Simple. Just do it here. The find student and then one placeholder. Here you are going to that pass that parameters. So we'll make a breakpoint from here. We'll check and we'll run that. So that URL will be that student first will be the student then find the student then the placeholder what you are going to pass as a parameter. So in the application. Just find that one student. Okay. Then find the student. Then if you will write like a 10, so you will get that value of 10. See here. Now you are getting that value of 10. So here if you will move it from here to that side also, it will work as the same as this one. Just like you move, move it from here to that side. So what will be that URL? That route prefix that is student, then the placeholder value like a eight in anything you want to write, then find student. So just enter that one. Just First will be the student and find a student then before that find a student to write like a 10. So first this one is the route prefix, this one 10 is the placeholder and this one is the route. Just press enter to check. See now it's getting that value. Now we are going to use that constraint in the route. Just change this one. That mean value we should write like a point. So that will be that student should be integer and minimum value it will be 5. So now run that one. This one is the constraint because the student type should be integer and minimum value should be 5. So first we will write that to a student, find, find a student. Then we are going to write that 3. Just here. So you are getting that error. Because that uh, in the constraint you have mentioned that one. That it, it should be 5. So here you can write that one 6. Let's see. See. Now you are getting that one. That value is 6. Just run the application getting that value there is no problem so till now we have learned this one is that student for here, here route prefix we use so that one for that controller for particular that home controller so prefix will be the student now we are going to change if you want to change that action name like a get so it's a, it will be the uh, automatically it is a cache http get in web api so route is that student so this one uh, we are going to call this particular method so you have to use that one student slash students if you are going to use that tilt before that name so it means that no need to use that prefix prefix will be automatically override with that tilde. and now here you have learned that one that you can use that constraint so here you write write that one uh, uh, route will be the find student and student id will be integer and minimum will be 5 i hope it's a clear thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe